A dental abscess is a collection of pus that can form in the teeth or the gums as a result of a bacterial infection. How does this occur? Your tooth is made up of a hard white protective layer, the enamel, which covers and protects a softer yellow tissue called dentin. At the very centre of the tooth is the soft pulp, where blood vessels and nerves are found. Your tooth is attached to the jaw via a strong ligament, called the periodontal ligament. Bacteria are found in plaque, which is a byproduct of food and saliva. Plaque bacteria produce acid, which makes holes in the enamel that eventually reach the center of the tooth. This is known as dental decay. The holes allow bacteria to invade the tooth and destroy the tooth pulp. White blood cells then pour into the affected area and pus forms, producing a periapical abscess, the most common type of dental abscess. Sometimes an abscess occurs in the supporting tissues around the tooth. This is called a periodontal abscess. It is usually associated with gum disease, when the gums become inflamed and separate from the teeth allowing bacteria to collect in pockets around the tooth root. If left untreated, the bacteria from the dental abscess can spread to other areas, including the nearby bone and the air-filled spaces behind the cheekbones. Infections that spread to the face, brain and neck can be life-threatening. The circulatory system is a wonderfully complicated system. It is responsible for sustaining our cells, facilitating cell-cell communication, and supporting our immune system's effort to fight infection. However, there are times when the circulatory system is plagued with an infectious disease. uncontrolled infection can have serious effects on the body. Um, and bacteria can detach and mix with the blood, giving bacteria from the surface of your mouth full access to the rest of your body. And for people with severe gum disease, new science suggests that these bacteria may link to other disorders like heart disease, where bacteria may be involved in plaque buildup in the blood vessels. Or pneumonia, where bacteria can create an infection in your lungs. Or rheumatoid arthritis, a debilitating disease of inflammation in the joints. Or preterm low birth weight in infants, which may be linked to bacteria passed from the mother to her fetus. What happens in your mouth doesn't stay in your mouth. 